protect my own children and the children that I teach. Every school has a child protection policy and teachers are required to report any abuse to the principal. The Children's First Act 2015 states that an example of sexual abuse is, quote, showing ex sexually explicit material to children. The Department of Education and Schools are in direct violation of this act if sexually explicit and pornographic material is available for children to read or view in schools. Parents send their children to school to learn facts, that is, maths, biology, etc. Gender ideology is not based on fact and will only confuse and upset children. Some may question their own gender. There is no urgent issue here, but it may become an issue if it is highlighted unnecessarily. The INTO, you might remember, put out a video with cartoon instructions as to how teachers should teach gender ideology to children and how Lucy can become lean and vice versa. This training video was removed due to the huge pushback. So well done to everybody involved there. Yeah. Uh, the NHS states that gender confusion could well be a phase. And if it's not, let the parents and professionals deal with it. I believe schools should opt out of teaching about gender ideology. And this, this is so important. Teach them love and acceptance of themselves and others. Teach them about tolerance and compassion. Um, just if uh, um, Mary has here the book here, um, uh, it's a book on the Rainbow Reads, you might have heard of it. And it was listed, I'm saying was listed, on the NCCA primary curriculum. It's called Fred Gets Dressed. He runs around naked dresses up in his mother's clothes. His mother then teaches him to do his hair and makeup and they celebrate this. <coughs> but he has no underwear on at the end. If you could show that picture there. He's running away with no underwear on. This is total indoctrination and is for zero to seven year olds. And there are many books like this. Um, in, in, in the schools at the moment that children are reading. Um, so let me tell you about the journey I've been on. I just need a bit of patience because uh, it's been a long journey. Uh, um, I was the first alerted to these rainbow reads on the NCCA primary curriculum, which they've since removed. I wonder why. These books are promoted by Children's Books Ireland, which they now called the Pride Reading Guide. They removed the book, this book is gay, uh, which Mary has there, after I spoke with them. But I think, but they think it's That's fine to keep the book, What's the Tea, in their catalogue. This book is pornographic. And if I read it, I would be arrested by these guards here for profanity. I cannot read what is in these books. They are so pornographic. And Children's Books Ireland are promoting these books. Shame on them. Shame on them. Uh, Children's Books Ireland promoted on their website by writing, this guide answers the questions and the reader might have, whatever their age or gender. Whatever their age or gender. I mean, just, anyway. On to the libraries. Many libraries bought up these rainbow reads to support pride without vetting them. I rented the book What's the Tea from Rush Library from the 12 to 14 reading section. It's got the red sticker on it. According to the Children's First Act 2015, libraries that have these explicitly sexual books are in violation of it. They are, therefore, they are committing a crime. <coughs> So I reported this crime to the Garda station, Lusk Garda station, and they started a pulse number. But they said they would not investigate it as it's not a crime. I, I, it's beggar's belief. I, I, I was absolutely stunned. But they did start a pulse number. I, I don't understand that. So I emailed Bingo Libraries and they replied that, quote, one of the actions 
set out under the government's national LGBTI plus inclusion strategy 2019 to 2021 is for public libraries to compile an LGBTI plus reading list. A working group with representation from Belong To, HSC Sexual Health and Crisis Prevention, Public Libraries and Transgender Network Ireland were brought together to develop this reading list with these books and others on it. These books all also have an, a Healthy Ireland sticker on them, which you'll see there, the, the Healthy Ireland sticker. They, and they are part of the HSE, and they are hugely involved in promoting these books. So it's, they're coming from everywhere. Um, it's like, if you do your own research, you'll see that. So Healthy Ireland endorsed the document Relationships and Sexual Education 1. And this is on the NCCA Junior Cycle curriculum as a resource. The book, this book is gay, is listed there and states that it's available through HIGH, which is Healthy Ireland, HSE, at your library. It also has the 210 WHO link, which promotes masturbation and teaching about gender um, identity and ideology to zero to four year olds. And that's just the start of it. But the link no longer works. I wonder why. Healthy Ireland also produced booklets for parents called Making the Big Talks, Many Small Talks. The book is gay is on the reading list for the 13 to 18 year old um, uh, 13 to 18 year old booklet and for zero to five year olds they want them to understand gender as being a feeling of boy girl or other other what is other to a zero to five year old this is planting an ideology in a child's mind that could, that could cause them real harm in the future uh, so nearly finished <laughs> On to the NCCA and the schools. Uh, the NCCA is the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment. Um, they recently had the Rain Rainbow Reads list as a resource for the SBAG RSE curriculum. But they removed this list. I wonder why. But they still have the book, This Book is Gay, listed as a resource. And also the WHO 2010 document that encourages masturbation for zero to four year olds. So I'm asking the NCCA today, why did you remove the Rainbow Reads list? And have you contacted the schools to inform them that the Rainbow Reads list is no longer on the website as many schools bought up these books and are encouraging children to read them? They, they already got the directive. So, um, where am I? Okay. So, parents today, I want to read for you Article 41.1.1 of the Constitution. This is a direct translation from the original Irish version. The state acknowledges that the family is the basic family group unit for society according to nature. And that is, it is a moral institution which has il inalienable invincible rights which are more ancient and higher than any human statute yes. any human statute so parents and teachers take your power and take action i would advise you to do your own research i'm just an ordinary parent i did and uh, i did my own research uh, rent these incriminating books from the library report them to the guards making sure they start a pulse number and write to the county council tds etc most importantly meet with the principal of the schools you have every right to meet with the principals of the schools you know we got out of the habit over the last few years because we weren't allowed into schools i wonder why yeah so discuss this new svhg rsc curriculum with them and ask are there any rainbow reads in the school if so, tell them to remove them immediately as the NCCA have removed them from the curriculum. You as parents are in charge of your children's welfare. You decide what you want your children to learn. 
Teachers and principals have a duty of care to protect children. Yes. Nothing is more important than this.